Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Forex swing trades and pending order strategy. Trade placement with CTrader and XPV. In this video, I explain today how to use CTrader platform to place a pending order with XPV to avoid the end of the day slippage on different brokers. It is useful in my group for the pending order strategy and the swing trades. Let's go on the platform. So here we are on CTrader on a demo account and I want to show you how to place, for example, if it is a pending order strategy, it will be a limit order. So a buy stop or a sell stop, or I have my same template on the new order placement than on my actual tra chart. You can customize it. For me, it's easier to, to watch the chart this way. And you can even select the time frame when you place your trade manually. This situated platform is really awesome to, to place your trade. It's really a good platform. So for example, let's imagine we are in the swing trade. This is a doji, so a doji would be a breakout, so let's place a breakout entry. So I will place, for example, if it's a swing trading strategy, a buy stop. I select the buy stop, stop order right here, then buy stop. Then I modify then I modify my line to where I want to enter. My stop loss below the candlestick, below the turning points, and I adjust my load size to match 2% or 1% of my account depending on on the amount of risk I want to trade. So 2% for example on this one, 2% right here. My take profit is usually 3 times my risk. So it's around 40 pips, so my target profit would be 120. And uh, that's the computation. And once it is done, I just place order and it places my order automatically. What I want to addition today is, for example, for a doji entry in swing trading, we want to enter if a a candlestick breaks the doji up or down during the next candle but not after. To, so to do that we can check the actual time on your platform it is right here. On my platform it is 6 a.m. 52.29 so this candle will finish in two hours so at uh, 8.50 in the morning and I want until the next candlestick so the next candlestick will be 8 plus 4 12 so my XPV will be 12, 0, 0. That's my entry. So my pending order, which can be a buy stop or a sell stop or a limit order, will expire at the specific time that I want it to expire. So after this time, this trade will no longer exist. So if it's not triggered, I will check another 4 hour pattern candlestick and place another trade after that. I do that and I use this specific option because it's very stress-free. I mean, if you have a specific strategy that use a doji, for example, needs to be broken up or down on the next candle. If it's not on the next candle, you don't take the trade or you reassess your entry point. The platform will do that automatically for you. You can do the same with MetaTrader 4 and I just show you quickly how to do it. So for example, right here, I click, uh, tac, 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 tac. This is a demo account. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right here. So you click on new order right here, well it's in French here. Then on this one, if you want to select pending order, it will be a buy limit or anything, and you can select the expiration right here too. And the hour is a bit more complicated to find on your MD4, but ge generally it is GMT plus 3 or GMT plus 2, depending if it's winter, winter time or summer time in western time. So you can select your expiration too with the right time and it's it works the same. It is just easier to do on CTrader and CTrader has a lot of more has a lot more advantages like the computation automatic of your size. I just feel it's easier for me to do it on this way. So I just show you so you can take advantage of this specific uh, tool. So that's for the swing trading strategy. You can end it expiration at the end of the next 4 hour candle and if it's not triggered there is no trade for you to enter for example and what you can do if it's a pending order so it will be a buy limit for example 
so let's say my chart is on a daily chart but for our give you more precision to place your level so let's for example the envelope are not on my chart but let's say we don't we want to take a trade outside the envelope so around here and we switch to the 4 hour chart or the 1 hour chart to get more precision and you put your stop loss how many pips you want it to be you select right here stop loss should be like uh, 25 pips it will put your stop loss automatically at 25 pips so it's not 25 it's minus 25 better so that's your stop loss and the take profit can be 75 if it's a pending order that's the way you will place your trade so my point with the pending order strategy you want to take a trade that touch a level before the end of the day and at the end of the day between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. in the morning when the candlestick switch from one day to another there is very low liquidity in the market because it's a gap it's a market gap there is no market open during one hour and during this market gap there can be a lot a lot a lot of spread and sometimes a lot of slippage and there might be a big order in the market at this time that might create a very big spike and triggering your stop loss so what you want to do with a pending order strategy is you want to set the expiration the same day so we are the 6th January 2020 and since my time is UTC plus 3 that's uh, broker time I will place my expiration at 23.00 which make it my order will can't be triggered one hour before the end of the day of the candlestick which make me safe to the end of the day slippage or spikes that might occur during big news event or uh, we don't know it can happen sometime just because the big bank make a huge movement so when I place a pending order generally I just stop my pending order just one hour before the end, uh, the end of the market so if I am triggered and I am in the trade before that it's okay but at least I will not be present in the market when sometimes the slippage and the big spikes occurs which protect a bit more my account with this specific pending order strategy outside the envelope so that's it the expiration is uh, the topic of this specific lesson i hope you understand you can ask me any question if you need below this video or you can contact me on facebook or telegram i wish you success in trading see you soon we are already at the end of the video subscribe for updates please like and share this video if you found the content useful comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.